Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at Hook on the Sega CD. Just let me uh, fire it up. Now this was uh, ported to all the 16-bit consoles and I think uh, this is probably the best version because it has full voices plus some, well, some really awful FMV. This is my favourite part. Listen up, boys! That's the fairy. I mean, how the hell do you go from Julia Roberts to that? <laughs> I think my main reason for uh, doing a video for this is just I've watched a film recently on Laserdisc, which is uh, it's quite enjoyable. Nothing amazing for, uh, especially since it's a Spielberg film. But, uh, you know, I always quite enjoy, enjoy it. It takes me back to my childhood, so what the hell, why not? And now it's mine. That makes me the pig, not him. Come on, Peter. Tell these guys that you are the pig. We've got to hurry and get you in training to fight Hook. Yeah, what? Well, this is a great story. <laughs> Let's go. Don't happen like that in film. Good old CD loading times kicking in. There we go. And we can hear the music there. Straight take from the film. That's just the benefit of the uh, CD games for this time. Right, well, B's jump. Very uh, slow, floaty jump. You can't fly unless you collect like uh, fairy dust. And A uses your weapon. I think that's a bit too loud now. Oh, 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 you got me. I've actually been playing this quite a bit recently. I do, uh, it's a fairly decent platform and it's a uh, good one to waste a bit of time on. If you drop in the water and hold down B, which is the fly button, you can just swim like that. And you can kill the fishes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, one dead fish. You can't jump out of the water, strangely enough. That was some energy. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the uh, oh, the fat kid, and he's down. Show off to fly, and I think it's all here. It is. You can see me fly meter at the top is just fly, flown up. If I jump and then press B, it hovers in the air, and then I can move around whilst the uh, bar has got energy. And that's pretty much what what you do throughout the uh, the entire game. Bit of a cheat here. If you get these, uh, you can get them free lives. Keep regenerating. So you basically, if you lose one life at a time, you can go through the uh, entire game and fill up your life meter. God, that one always gets me. I don't know bloody why. that up there? Is it a graphical glitch? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and there is a platform here. I'm going to come back in a minute, I think. Oh, it just had energy on top. Oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> and three lives are doing me a lot of good, aren't they? One thing you can get, but when you become the pan, is a, a rather nifty uh, sword that can throw fly fireballs like in uh, Zelda. 
you can't get it on this stage though, so you've got to defeat the boss if we can get to it. I think we've got enough time. Oh, we're only five minutes and we've got enough time. I shall give it a go. Come on, fatty. He's down. Get some flying in now. Oh, <laughs> that was well aimed. Oh, oh, God, I almost fell off then. Oh, I've got some more energy. I mean, for a, a movie tie-in, it, it is fairly decent. Got him. There you go. You can only get him when he's down on the floor like that. I've said before, I mean, it, it's strange just how many good games there are on the Mega CD. I mean, it does get a, a lot of stick for being a, a poor system, but I mean, I've got tons of games for it, and it's absolute crackers. And I will Terminator I showed the other day. This I quite like. Uh, even some of the uh, FMV titles, which get treated quite unfairly. There's some good, decent ones there as well. Then you've got some. Cracking RPGs, uh, the Lunar games. I've, I've never owned one of them. I've, I've played a dodgy version, obviously, but uh, you yeah, know, never, never, never bought one. And this pop full mail. I've, I keep. I'm going to buy a copy of that. I'm determined to. I mean, I've, I have played a copy of it, but I love it to bits. And as soon as I can get one for less than fifty quid, <laughs> I'm uh, going to pick up a copy. That's the only problem. All the decent games for the system tend to be uh, all sorts of silly prices. Yeah, this is just the uh, the world map. I mean, this is a, a, a US edition of the, of the game. I picked up on eBay for about six, six, maybe seven quid ages ago. But uh, I think well, I want to just tried test playing it the other night to see what it was like and uh, I had to manage to get through to the last stage without losing a life. There we go, that's his elder fireball. Problem is as soon as you get hit you lose it. And that leaf is more energy. You don't want to hit them or the hornets. Oh god the hornets come out. See, and I've lost the amazing sword now. And the stupid thing is, you rarely ever get that sword. I mean, when I was playing it through the other night and, and got to the last stage, I think I saw it twice. That's including the one time I just had it now. Ooh, that was close. I mean, this part isn't in the film, but uh, pretty much everything that's in the movie uh, does make an appearance. Oof, that was close. I almost lost that life then. See, I'm doing pretty well at this now. There it is. I did, I used to have the uh, the SNES version of this. And here's the boss fight, this is really easy. He just pops out every so often. Oh, there he is in the middle. Anyway guys, sadly I've, I've just noticed we're almost out of time, so uh, I'm going to have to call it a day here. 
as always, uh, thanks for watching and I shall uh, do my best to post another video soon.